Certain conditions cause excess secretions, particularly mucus, to build up on airway surfaces and restrict the body's ability to transport gases into and out of the lungs. Vibratory PEP therapy is effective for patients experiencing retained or excessive secretions related to diagnoses such as atelectasis, COPD, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, bronchiectasis, asthma, CNS neuromuscular disease, cystic fibrosis, and mucociliary clearance disorders. Patients with these conditions have difficulty in mobilizing secretions. If secretion retention is chronic or left untreated, it may lead to further issues, possibly including infection, lung inflammation, and airway obstructions causing problems with atelectasis and ventilation or oxygenation. Clearing the airway of mucus opens anatomical structures essential to respiration. Vibratory PEP therapy is a method of assisting in clearing excess secretions from lung and airway structures enabling a person with compromised pulmonary capacity to breathe easier. Vibratory PEP therapy combines two effective treatments, vibratory therapy, by which airflow vibrations gently loosen and disengage trapped mucus, and PEP therapy, or positive expiratory pressure, which creates a force that splints airways open during exhalation and pushes air behind mucus, promoting the movement of the mucus towards the large airways. Once in the large airways, the secretions can be more easily coughed up. The Portex Acapella Vibratory PEP Therapy System provides effective and efficient positive expiratory respiratory therapy. The patient inhales through the device and the valve inside opens and allows the air to enter. When the patient breathes out, the valve closes and PEP is created. As the pressure increases, the expiring air forces the cone up and air escapes causing the rocker to vibrate. In this way, the acapella vibratory PEP therapy system enables the patient to produce positive expiratory pressure for clearing and opening the airway. The deeper the patient inhales, the longer the following exhalation through the device, which produces more vibrations. If a small volume nebulizer is used for bronchodilator treatments, with a doctor's prescription, it can be attached to the acapella system, which may optimize delivery and accelerate the effects of the medication. The other sections of this program will help you to become familiar with the acapella vibratory PEP therapy system and start your therapy. Your physician has determined that the acapella vibratory PEP therapy system may help you keep your lungs and airways free of excess secretions. The acapella system offers several benefits. You administer your own therapy, not needing a second person to assist you. Therapy can be performed anywhere, anytime, in any position. The device can be adjusted for your unique needs and readjusted as those needs change. The device is inexpensive and does not require the use of electricity to operate. And it has a shorter treatment time than percussion therapies. There are four acapella vibratory PEP therapy system models. Acapella DH is typically used in an acute care setting by patients with near normal expiratory capacity, able to expire for three to four seconds. Acapella DM is also typically used in an acute care setting by adults and children with below normal expiratory capacity, unable to expire for at least three seconds. Acapella Choice can be used in any setting, from hospital to home. Acapella Choice can be disassembled for cleaning and disinfecting and incorporates a numbered adjustable frequency dial. Acapella Duet can also be used in any setting, from hospital to home, and can be disassembled for cleaning and disinfecting. Acapella Duet features a dedicated port for attaching a small volume nebulizer. The acapella vibratory PEP therapy system is used in hospital and often prescribed for patients returning home to recover, as well as for patients with chronic respiratory conditions. If you use the device in a non-clinical setting, for instance at home or at work, you'll appreciate that the system is lightweight and compact. Carry it and have vibratory PEP therapy wherever and whenever you need it. 
you'll find that it's easy to prepare the system. Follow the regimen of breathing and coughing prescribed by your physician and to maintain the system for repeated use. Let's take a look at an acapella vibratory pep therapy system. All models operate much the same way, but the choice and the duet may be prescribed to you if you need to continue vibratory pep therapy after leaving the hospital, or if you have a chronic respiratory condition. The device is tapered at one end. The mouthpiece, which is attached to the tapered end, is placed in your mouth. Alternatively, you may be instructed to fit this end with a mask, which will cover your mouth and nose. Turning the expiratory resistance frequency adjustment dial allows you to adjust the vibrations and resistance, fine-tuning the device to the particular characteristics of your lungs to ensure that maximal therapeutic results can be achieved. The setting you select should be determined by your healthcare provider since it can affect the results of the therapy. Here are the steps used in performing vibratory pep therapy with acapella. Wash your hands. Ensure that the adjustment dial is set as recommended by your healthcare provider. Place the mouthpiece lightly in your mouth. Your healthcare provider may recommend the use of a nose clip. If you're using a mask, apply the mask tightly but comfortably over your nose and mouth. Take a deep breath, larger than normal, but not filling your lungs to capacity. Hold your breath for two to three seconds. Then, while maintaining a tight seal on the mouthpiece, exhale actively, but not forcefully, through the device. Exhalation should last approximately three to four seconds. Then, inhale through the mouthpiece and prepare for your next exhalation. Perform 10 to 20 breaths as recommended by your healthcare provider. Remove the mouthpiece or mask and perform two to three huff coughs to raise secretions. Huff coughing is performed by forcefully exhaling through an open upper airway after taking in a large breath and holding it. Follow these steps. Take in a slow, deep breath. Hold that breath for a count of three seconds. Exhale in a series of short, quick, forced exhalations, making sure that the airway in your throat is open. This can be done by softly saying or whispering the word huff as you do these exhalations. Repeat the huff cough procedure two more times for a total of three huff coughs. Repeat the sequence of 10 to 20 vibratory pep breaths and two to three huff coughs. Your healthcare provider may prescribe the use of a small volume nebulizer with the acapella to enhance the inhalation of aerosolized medication, such as bronchodilators. If so, and you are using acapella DH, DM, or Choice, follow these steps to prepare the device for a therapy session. Set up the small volume nebulizer without the mouthpiece, per manufacturer's directions, or per hospital protocol. Attach the nebulizer port, or T-piece, to the distal end, opposite the mouthpiece. An additional adapter may be needed. Attach the corrugated tubing supplied with your small volume nebulizer to the end of the device. The tubing extends the body of the device to help contain aerosolized particles and prevent medication loss. If using the acapella duet, simply insert the small volume nebulizer to the port on the underside of the device, connect the nebulizer to the oxygen or air source, and proceed with the treatment. To ensure maximum benefit from the acapella vibratory pep therapy system, carefully follow the care plan provided by your healthcare provider. Be certain to read and understand the instructions for use accompanying the device. It's important to keep the acapella vibratory pep therapy system clean and germ free. It's also important to inspect the device for damage before each use. If at any time you feel that the acapella is damaged or not working properly, do not use it. Contact your healthcare provider for advice. Home use. Clean and disinfect acapella daily to prevent the growth of bacteria. The outside of the acapella device should be cleaned with a mild household soap. Bleach should not be used. To clean, first disassemble the unit. For the acapella choice and duet, there are four parts that need to be cleaned. The cover, the mouthpiece, the base, 
and the rocker assembly. Do not attempt to disassemble the rocker arm from its platform base. Separating these components may cause the device to function improperly. Carefully wash each part with a mild household liquid detergent to remove all secretions. Rinse with sterile water or water that is boiled for at least five minutes and dry. Next, to disinfect, there are four recommended methods. Method one, place the parts of the device in a fresh solution of 70% isopropyl alcohol for five minutes. Method two, place the parts in a fresh solution of 3% hydrogen peroxide for 30 minutes. Method three, place the unit in the top shelf of a dishwasher for a normal cycle. That is, with water temperature greater than 70 degrees Celsius, 158 degrees Fahrenheit, for at least 30 minutes. Method four, boil the unit in water for five minutes. When you have disinfected using isopropyl alcohol or hydrogen peroxide, rinse the device with sterile water or water that is boiled for at least five minutes and then allow the acapella to cool to room temperature and dry. Drain the device by placing it with the mouthpiece end downward in a resting position on a clean towel and allow the device and mouthpiece to air dry. Lastly, reassemble acapella for your next therapy session. Hospital use. Clean acapella per hospital protocol for single patient use devices in accordance with the manufacturer's instructions for use. Both acapella choice and acapella duet will withstand autoclaving. If autoclaving, the temperature should not exceed 136 degrees Celsius, 277 degrees Fahrenheit for a maximum 30 cycles. Inspect acapella after every cleaning cycle to determine that the device is in working condition. If the device appears to be physically compromised, replace it with a new acapella choice or duet. Following the recommended cleaning and disinfecting procedures, with the exception of autoclaving, the acapella vibratory PEP therapy system should have a useful life of approximately six months under normal and customary usage.